Hi everybody, welcome to a new Python tutorial. In this tutorial we will talk about context managers and the with statement. So we will learn about the concept of context managers and what are they used for. We will then have a look at typical examples of context managers and how we can implement our own context manager. So context managers are a great tool for resource management. They allow you to allocate and release resources precisely when you want to. So a well-known example is the with open statement. So in order to open a file, we can say with open and then a file name. So let's call it notes.txt and we open it in write mode and s a and give it a name here. So inside our with statement, we can use this name now. So we can say file.write. So we write something into our file, some, some to do. And now when we leave this with statement again, this with statement or this context manager will make sure to correctly close our file again, even if there is an exception somewhere here. So if you would have to write this as a full code, it would look something like this. So we say file equals open and then notes.txt in write mode and then we have a try block so we try to write into our file so write some to do and now we have an a finally clause so this will be executed with or without an exception. So no matter what happens, this will will be executed every time. So here we can say file dot close our file again, and then our resource is freed up again correctly. So now if we compare this and this, then our with open statement looks much cleaner and much much more concise. So this is the recommended way to open a file. And this is a typical example how we can use context managers in order to open an, a file and allocate the resources. And then after leaving it, also make sure to correctly free up our resources again. So typical examples is like in this case, the with open statement. Then for example, to open and close database connections or another typical example is the lock. So if you've watched my tutorials about multi-threading and multi-processing, you already know how to use a lock. So if we have a lock, so we say from threading import lock. And now if we create a lock, so lock equals lock. So whenever we acquire a lock, so we say lock, dot acquire and then we can do something here safely so this is now thread safe but after that we always have to call lock dot release and if we forget this we might run into a deadlock here and our program won't continue so never forget to say lock dot release when we had lock dot acquire so a better way to do this and also much simpler is to say with lock and then do something here. This will automatically acquire our lock when we enter this with statement and then it will make sure to say lock dot release when we leave this with statement again. So this is also a typical example. And now let's say how we can implement a context manager for our own classes. So in order to do that, we have to implement the enter and the exit methods. So let's say uh, we have a class and call it managed file. Now, of course, this has an init and it will get a file name here. So we simply store the file name, say self dot file name equals file name and now we re-implement the same functionality as with the with open statement 
just in order to show you how this is done. So now what we have to implement is we have to implement the enter um, method. So this will get self and then we have to implement the exit method. This will also get self and then it will get an ex exception type an exception value and also an exception traceback. Now I will talk about this in a second but first of all let's implement both of them. So the enter method will be executed as soon as we enter the with statement. So here we want to allocate our resource. So in this case first let's print enter to have a look at where this will happen and now we allocate our resource so we say self we create a file and say self dot file equals and now we open it here so we open it with the file name and open it in write mode and then also inside the enter method we want to return the allocated resource so in this case we return self.file and now in our exit method we want to make sure that we correctly close the file so we say if self.file so if this is not none then we say self.file.close and then print exit and here let's print in it and now this is all we need to use this class as a context manager and now we can say we can use a with statement so we can say with managed file and this will get the file name notes.txt as file and then we can say file.write some to do and now let's say let's see what happens so this will or let's also make a print statement here so let's say print do some stuff um, so we see here the init method gets called when our object gets created then as soon as we enter this with statement the enter method gets called so enter is printed then our resource is allocated then we can do some stuff and afterwards our exit method is called as soon as we leave this with context here again so now let's talk about what will happen if an exception occurs so we see here that Python passes the type, the value and the traceback to the exit method. So you can handle the exception here. And if anything other than true is returned by this exit method, then the exception is raised by the with statement. So let's say, let's print continuing here. So in order to see if we reach this code and now let's also print the for example let's print we want say ex exception and then print the exception type and the exception value so now if we run this we see that our exception here is none so no exception here exception type and the exception value is none and now if we try something here this that won't work so let's say file dot some method so this will not exist uh, inside our class here so it doesn't notice some method method so this will raise an exception so now if we run this then we see inside our exit function it still can close our file even if there is an exception so it reaches this code so 
then it prints the exception. So in this case, it's an attribute error. And the error is that we don't have this sum method. And then we can exit this function. But then our with statement will raise an exception. So we won't reach this continuing here. And now if we want to handle this exception ourselves, we can, for example, say we check if exception type is not none, then prints that here's an exception. So let's say exception um, exception has been handled. And now in order to not raise an exception, we have to return true here. So let's say return true. And we don't want to print this anymore. Um, and now let's run this. Now we see we it prints exception has been handled, then it exits our with statement again. And then no exception here from our with statement and we can continue. So continuing is printed. So yeah, this is an example of how to write our own class as a cost uh, as a context manager. And we can achieve this with implementing it as a class with the enter and the exit functions. But we can also implement it as a function. And to do so, we have to say we have to I import something. So we say from context lib import context manager and we have to use this as a decorator. So and then we will create a function that is a generator. So if you don't know or are not familiar with generators and decorators already, then please have a look at my other tutorials because I already talked about them. So now let's create a generator here and call this open managed file. And this also will get a file name. And then here, oh, sorry, I misspelled it. So managed file. And then inside here, we want first, of course, want to open our file. So we say F equals open file name in write mode. And here we have to write a try and a finally clause. And inside the try uh, statement, we want to yield the file. So here we would we want to write everything that would otherwise end up in our enter function. And then we want to have a finally clause. And here we write all the content of the exit method to free up the resource, the resource. So here we say f dot close. And then we also need to decorate it with our context manager decorator. And now we can use this function in a with statement. So we can say with open managed file and call it notes.txt and then as f and then we can say f dot write and then write something. So this will also work. And now let's go over this again. What will happen here? So in because this is a generator. So this will first make sure to allocate our resource. And then it will try to yield our resource. So and by yielding it, um, it will temporarily suspend 
its own execution so we can continue here and use this file so then we can do some operations with this file and then when we exit the with statement again then our function here continues running and then the finally clause will be executed and our file will be closed again and also we can handle exceptions here and yeah so this is the second way how to use a context manager and that's all I wanted to show you about context manager I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you liked it please leave a like and a subscribe to the channel see you